I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're starting Chapter 2 of Fears to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. All right, guys. So if you watched the last video I posted, I started this game where it is coming out in different chapters. And so far, there are only two chapters out right now. So the first chapter's up. Um, none of these chapters are related as far as I know, so you can watch that as its own thing. You don't even have to watch it now. You could be watching this video and then watch that one after. So the first video is a story about a kid who's home alone and there is a scary intruder outside. Um, that video came out pretty funny, I think, and really scary at the end. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. Today, we are starting one called Norwood Hitchhike. I don't know anything about it at all. I haven't looked into it. I don't know what the story entails. I don't know if it's another home invasion one or not. I'm guessing it's about a hitchhike. Like maybe you're on the streets hitchhiking. Maybe it's kind of like that. What was that game that we played a long time ago that they never did anything with? Uh, Rides with Strangers? What happened to that? I think I donated to that. That was a long time ago. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's a really spooky night. I don't know if I can edit it out, but it's really windy outside and I have a door next to me and the door is kind of like opening and slamming and opening and slamming. It's not slamming. It's, you can hear the wind hitting it and it's like trying to open, but it's not. Anyway, it's creepy as shit. I'm also drinking wine out of a Poland Springs water bottle, which is just scary in itself at how lazy I am. So without further ado, I don't know how long this chapter is. I don't know if it's 20 minutes. I don't know if it's an hour. So let's get started. All right, guys, we are doing this. So an episode of horror, Fears to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. Uh, and we got a creepy motel in the background. And I know for a fact that motels are creepy because I used to work at them. That was like my first job. Uh, and I did some overnights where you are the only one there, except for the guests which is very dangerous for like a 17 year old kid. So anyway, I also just wanted to quickly say uh, in this video, because in the last video I was talking about how cheap I am, <laughs> how uh, the video or the game was free and that's why I was playing it. Um, and I was talking about my broken ass chair and I actually got a really, really nice donation. Um, so I'm really happy about that. That was incredible. Nobody had to do that, but you know who you are. Um, thank you. And I am actually getting a new chair. I ordered a new chair. I don't know what it's called. I looked at all these different brands. I can't remember the one that I fucking sat with. So I'm getting a new chair, hopefully soon. All right, let's get into this. Episodes. We got Norwood Hitchhike. This game, if you didn't know. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You're playing episode two. More episodes are coming soon. Playtime, 40 minutes. All right, let's see. It'll probably take us longer because that's who I am. Let's start it up. Fears to Fathom, episode two, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. The fact that I can see my mouse is taking me out of it, but ah, I'll put it over there. Press any key. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. <laughs> I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Hmm. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. We're hitchhiking to a gaming convention? That's what this game is about? This convention I went to, or this convention I was at, went great, so she already went. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. 
It was a little over a 12 hour drive. So we are driving. So where does the hitchhike come in, come into play here? Oh, oh, okay. We're in the car. We have no body. Space to get out. Why am I getting out? Why in the world would I get out? The hell? What? Why am I get- Get back in the car. Oh my god. Okay. I thought I couldn't get back in. Can I drive? Okay. So I'm actually doing the driving. Like, can I reverse? Yep, I can reverse. I am driving, people. This is me. Um, I don't know. Oh, I can swerve. <laughs> I can, I'm literally driving. What does that say? 40 miles an hour. Aiden Williams. This, okay. I should not be texting and literally driving. And I'm on, I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Let's let's pull over, even though this seems stupid, but uh okay. Aiden Williams and Dad. Let's look here. May 21st, Discord. May 22nd. We got ticks. So I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol. Air lol. What? Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Oh my god, the music just scared the shit out of me. I thought someone was talking to me. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're did I leave off? That just scared me. Uh, Discord. Hold on. Where the hell am I? Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt? Okay, so she's meeting up with an online friend. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Did I have a good time? I'm not sure. Am I flirting? I don't know. Again, you sure driving all the way back? Again, you sure? Okay. I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. All right, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if I'll, it'll be in this lifetime though. It seems like he's a little interested and she's a little not. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's, that's it, I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. We're rerouting, that's not good. I'm really scared that somebody's gonna come up to my car. All right, Dad. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No. <laughs> You're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Oh, apparently we talked. Also, I'm 19 years old, going on a 10 hour drive by myself. I just, when I was 19, I don't trust my 19 year old self to do anything, really. Uh, I don't even trust me, right now, to do anything, really. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else? Leaving now. So, she sent his information to him. Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Oop. I can zoom, apparently. All right, let's get this car a rolling. So we're driving back from a gaming convention and we rerouted, which is lovely. I wonder if I can drive into a tree. I am not on the right side of the road. Ah! Sorry. Dad, I'm driving. I almost got into a car accident. <laughs> Let me just drive a little further and then I'll check. 
it's a, I can't read anything. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Yeah, I'm probably low on gas because I just stalled in the middle of the street reading my text messages for 20 minutes. Also, we should have prepared better. But 19-year-old Katie probably wouldn't have prepared better. Okay, Dad, hold on. Oh, we're going around a corner. Hold on. Oh my god, he's probably worried. Alright, stop the car. Dad. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. I'm feeling fine, thanks. Alright, we better reach a gas station soon! Or, uh... Why did I feel like I just saw something on the street? Oh my god, my game is like glitching out. And here we are. Do I actually have to pull in here? <laughs> I, what side is the tank on? Let's hope this is it. Do I have one? Okay, I don't know. Hmm. Is this... Is this place closed? Oh, there's some lights. Wait, what does that say? Wasn't feeling it. Didn't want it. <laughs> okay. We're in. At the gas station. Hello, sir. This is... creepy. Ah, I love how it was like kind of a loading screen to come in here. Oh my god, that just scared me! <laughs> it was kind of a loading screen to get in here, but my car is still in the same spot I left it, which is very cool. Uh, we got... alright, we got gas station guy, and we got... very straight guy. I guess they're all kind of straight. They got good posture here. Ooh! Yeah, good posture. I don't have that kind of posture. Let me just look around. Got a nice little table over here, in case you want to sit inside the gas station. Oh, I can actually buy drinks in here. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed, hell yeah! Am I gonna be running? Why is this taking so long? Consume. I shall consume the beverage. Sir, could you back it up? I'm consuming my cola. Okay. Why is he- Okay, he's obviously just on his own little mission. He doesn't know what he wants. Interesting. Alrighty, let's talk to this guy. Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? Dot dot dot. You head into the bridge by yourself? The bridge? Yes, why? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean the bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Who said I'm going there? Thanks, you got it. What do you mean? <laughs> For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Don't ask me what this voice is. Just felt right. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster has torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. On the bridge? Around the bridge? Well, thanks for the gas. Can I use the toilet? Cool. Do I have to pee? I don't want to use a gas station toilet. Thanks for the gas. Cool. I'm just gonna ask because I want to see what other gameplay we got here. It's not cleaned. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. 
what's that? Why is there a creepy van by my car? Hell no, that wasn't there before. That truck over there, that was there before. I'm not going out there. Now with the white van literally waiting by my car. Hell no. Hell no. Can I talk to this guy and be like, can you escort me please? You got pumped too. Thanks. I don't want to go. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought this man left. <laughs> Ugh, I hate him. <laughs> can I talk to him? Oh shit, I can talk to him. I didn't even realize. Okay. Dot dot dot. You heard about the Nord Valley monster? How's your night going? <laughs> Where are you headed? <laughs> How's your night going, sir? He just looked at me. Ugh. That's it? You heard about the Nord Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster, you know anything? Big mistake. I thought it said his stake. Big mistake? What? Big mistake. Let me see what else he says. Never mind. Okay. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ugh, I don't like him. But what would I rather do? Stay in here or go out to the creepy van? <sighs> I don't want to do this. Obviously, I have no choice. That's probably why I drank this cola. And one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. Great. Lovely. Yeah, okay. What? What was he doing by my- Where are you going? He was right by my car. Fuck me. Uh, I don't know. Also, am I going any faster? I bought the cola. I don't think I'm going any faster. <sighs> Mom. Holly? Mom? I don't know if you find- <laughs> My fucking bangs, hold on. Alright. Holly? Mom? I don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Really? Like, I'm in the middle of nowhere. God, this place is creepy. Do they even sell dog food here? This man needs to leave. How did he get here? Because I'm guessing the truck belongs to the guy who works here. Alright, we got dog food. over here. No. I don't see anything that resembles dog food. I don't I don't see any dog food. Wait. Oh, that's a dog's face. <laughs> that's a pug. I did not realize that. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Five dollars, huh? Alright, I got my dog food. My generic dog food from the gas station. Pat Pat. And let's head out. Do I actually- am I gonna get my gas? I could just put that in the trunk. 
Why did I put dog food in the truck? I could just put it in the passenger seat. Uh, throw. Okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Can I actually get the gas, though? Huh. Okay. Looks secure. Did I get the gas? What is happening? Is this not pump two? Should I move? Oh, two's over there! Oh my god. Why would I say, can I get gas on pump two? And like, why didn't I choose the correct pump? I don't know. Back it up. This is ridiculous. Ah! Oh, oh shit! I wasn't the best at driving. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Uh, uh, forward. And get up. <sighs> Alright. That was a mess. <laughs> I filled the tank. And it's off to road again. Lovely. That could have been way easier. Oh, there's another car on the road. I still don't know what to think about that creepy van, though, that was looking at our car. Because they didn't actually come into the gas station, so that's really creepy. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks like just you and me. Mom, I got the dog food. Leave me alone. I don't even know where we're going. <gasps> oh, I thought I saw something. Why are my lights off? That was weird. I didn't like that. See something? Why do I feel like I see something? <gasps> oh my god, this is dangerous. You talk too much now, you fucked up. I will never think this music is really taking me out of it, but it's oddly comforting. Okay, the fact that I'm just driving in the pitch black right now is wild. What the hell? And all like the red on these trees, like I keep thinking it's like a person, but it's just like the way that they made the graphics. Alright, is something gonna happen? Are we gonna get somewhere? Like, what actually is going on? We're gonna pick somebody up? Oh, we hit a dirt road? This is- oh, it's the bridge! the bridge he was talking about. That people were hung in the trees or something. Oh my god. Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. Why am I in the fucking wilderness right now? With no lights! <gasps> oh, that scared me. I don't know what that was. Bush. Absolutely 
not. No, I wouldn't be doing this. I would have stayed with Aiden. There's a car right there. Should I stop? Why would I stop? Why would I stop? Right? Why would I stop? Unless there's somebody that needs help. There's a very weird thing about that night. Oh no. So two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. What the fuck am I gonna do? It was almost as if someone had deliberately put those there. You're telling me this bitch is moving these fucking tree trunks? <laughs> it must have been that cola that I consumed, am I right? <laughs> She's moving fucking tree trunks with her 19 year old skinny ass arms. Can I go through here now? Had to move the logs. Move them faster! No, not that way. No, no! Oh my god. No! Shit, that was so annoying. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. What did my mom even say? Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station, and you don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? Shut the fuck up. But I'd be lying if I- okay. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Fuck. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well... At least it used to be. <sighs> 10 23 p.m. Okay. Well, I guess we're hitchhiking. After the gas station guy tells everybody not to pick up hitchhikers. This is lovely. I did see a car. <laughs> oh my god! Shit! Hello? I. <sighs> Pure evil. <laughs> I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. I think we probably would have did it. We drove past that car. I'm pretty sure that car was parked back there. <laughs> 10.43 p.m. <laughs> it's like time has gone by, we still are right next to the car. Alright, lady, we're gonna have to move a little faster than this. Oh, there's a car coming! Stop! Stop! Please. Hey, is this the white truck from the gas station? Is this the guy from the gas station? 
No, no thanks. You can go. I'm fine. No. No. <laughs> no. No. I will literally die out here before I get in that truck. Hi, remember me? You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. Thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anything, anyone would stop for me here. Hi. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. No words. I can't call for help, there's no phone service. No words. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just the nearest stop. Yeah. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, or just leave me out here. Whatever. Let me grab my stuff. Wait, what about the dog food? Ah, oh, look at it. It's still here. Guess that's it. Alright. I only had two hands. <laughs> I got the dog food. Apparently my luggage isn't important. Just the dog food and the uh, whatever else I picked up. Do I have to get the rest of- what is this game? <laughs> I have to get all of my stuff? How about my purse in the passenger seat? Do I gotta slide in there and get that too? Where's the purse? Okay. Two hours later. This game is 40 minutes because of the unnecessary things that I have to do. That's why. Hurry up. I'm done. Can you help me get my stuff? Done. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Okay. I wonder if you would have helped me. Ugh. Just drive, sir, please. I hate this. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. I live really close from here. Is that so? In that case, I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. Why are you listening to my questions? Wait, I asked him some questions. Ah, I can't remember. It's okay. I wouldn't trust me either. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Uh, I'm Holly. It's nice to meet you, Jason. Jason. I would rather be anywhere in the world but here with Jason. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. What were you even doing in the gas station? Did you get anything? I must say, you are one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Um, I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old, yeah. Unless you did something, Jason. Was that your buddy in the white van? I feel like that would be too... too on the nose, I don't know. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm not scared. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Do you just hang out in the gas station? Is that like your go-to spot? He's probably the guy who sits at the table in there and just hangs out. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. What do you mean? Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. 
I'm not bothering anybody. I was getting some gas. I was driving. My car broke down. What are you talking about? Are we almost there, wherever we're going? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Clearly. He's also like, I've also never gotten a blowjob before. Should we pull over? Like, sir, drop me off. 12.08 AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Great. Bye. Thanks. I'm glad we made it without giving a BJ. Actually, we don't know. We might have, but I hope we didn't. So, we're at a motel. There's rooms, lots of rooms. All right, let's let's get another cola, can we? So I can speed this sprinting up. Didn't want it. Okay, I bet I want this. How much money do I have? Can I just keep buying these? Can I just keep increasing my speed? I'm not going any- oh, yeah I am. Yeah I am. Alright. Roadway in. Uh, the man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Is this the gas station guy? <laughs> That's the same dude. He must have a twin. Anyway. Ugh. Hold on. Before I keep going, the door next to me keeps making this noise, and I'm gonna see if I can stop it. I put a table in front of my door so that the wind blowing will s hopefully stop it. I don't know. I wish I did that a long time ago. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? <laughs> what should his voice sound like? Because that wasn't it. Uh, let's see. Uh, should he have a southern accent? Gal need a room to shack up for the night? <laughs> Okay, so southern accents aren't my best, but that's about all I can do. So, how much is it for a room? Uh, yes, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. How much? I'm not gonna tell him how long I'm gonna be here. 40 for a single. How do you know I'm single? Pay cash only. Alright, I don't know how much cash I have, I just spent it all on soda. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about my car. Nine dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Guys, I'm so sorry for this voice acting. <laughs> Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. See? I think he does have a southern accent because they might not take very nicely to it. Sounds better in a southern accent, I think. All right, I'm gonna be quiet. And I got key to room nine. Is it over here? Seven. Hold on, mom. Let me get to the room. Ah, where's the mattress? <laughs> Except. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from an old house. Are we not gonna talk about the missing mattress? And the TV that's bigger than me? What is- are we in the 90s? Where's the mattress? <laughs> Couldn't have slept there. Clearly. Because there's no fucking mattress. Close this. Lock it. Okay, I don't know if there's a lock. Okay. <laughs> Why is this lady's picture here? 
Okay. <clears throat> I still have no service or what? What do you mean? Wait, let's see. What do you mean reroute, Dad? I may have to stay by a motel tonight. Okay. Well, that wasn't delivered. Mom. Holly. That's it. And hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. So I don't have service and clearly everybody is worried. Okay, well, it's a newspaper under here. Can't click it. Would have been cool. Oh, ah, look, our crouching mechanic is still a thing. What do we got in here? Medicine? I didn't need it. Okay. TV? Up in the sky! Oh, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! I think we're in the 90s, folks. Although this feels kind of comforting. It's kind of nice. Or late 80s, I don't know. It's in here. You guys, I just cough so much that I'm literally tearing up. I had a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> and I couldn't stop. Okay. Anyway. That's not scary at all. Oh my god, now my eyes are watering. Ugh. Oh, oops. Okay, let's keep that open just in case. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Why isn't he chasing me? What is that? What was that about? What the fuck was that about? Why isn't he chasing me? Why was he just standing there? Oh my god! <sighs> I'm... Wh what the hell? Did you give me the key to the wrong room? Oh, this is all my stuff! Sir! You have a great night's sleep. Sir, I'll never be able to sleep again. What, what is... What am I supposed to do? You gave me the wrong key. Clearly, this man is in my room. Am I supposed to go in there? Why was he standing in there? Like, I turned the TV on and everything. Like, he could've came out and killed me, so why is he... Oh my god. Guys. <gasps> is he glitched? What are you doing? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you! I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. If I come into this room, and I turn the TV on, and I'm clearly in the room, you should make yourself known, sir, and I don't believe you. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. He, he, he? Red flag. Red flag. If if him hiding in the bathroom wasn't a red flag, this is red flag number two. He, he, he. Absolutely not. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll get my stuff. Fine. Really? Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. What? The room- Are you gonna put a mattress in here too? Like- you gonna pull that out of your fucking asshole? Oh, I hate this. This is scary. I don't like this. <laughs> Why am I not sprinting? Did the cola wear off or what? That was terrifying. Just that. I could have- the game could be over. You know, I'm fine. I'm past the 40 minute mark and I just don't know how much longer I can take of this. Can I talk to this man again? Your stuff is right outside. Oh wait. Your stuff is right outside. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hell no, am I carrying it. No. 
No. This is stupid. Am I gonna have to take seven trips? Can I put it on this luggage cart? Is this a luggage cart? Oh my god. <gasps> Ugh! Wow, he supplied a mattress in that time. That's great. Had a word with Joe about the situation. I hate him. His face is horrible. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. Why do you talk like this? We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee hee hee. But you have a good night. So the phone doesn't work. Clearly, you can... Wait, you have the keys to my car? Like... I don't like it. Should I follow him? I want to know where he goes. I got my eye on you, buddy. Let me get the rest of my stuff. Wait, he's getting my car? Where the fuck is my car? Oh! He's gonna go get my car on the street? Like, down the road? Oh, he driving away! He's gonna go- okay. Okay. Maybe he's a nice guy. You know? Maybe he's a good old guy and he's gonna get my car. Right? Right. Uh, I don't know where to put my stuff. Great. Should I get the rest? Can I actually- Had to get my stuff. Yeah, I have to go actually go get it all. This is awesome. So. I don't know if you guys remember, if you watched the, uh, the chapter one before this, I- spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert, I didn't win. <laughs> I did not win. I died right at the end and I didn't make it, so I didn't get the achievement of winning. And I'm a little scared that maybe I'm not gonna do this either, you know? Like, I might- I might not make it. I can't click on anything in here. Do I just go to sleep? Had to get my stuff in the room. It's in the room. Trust me. It's in there. I got this, this, that, hat. Where's the skateboard? Where the fuck is the skateboard? Did I drop it? It's right here. Oh my god. <laughs> 40 minute gaming, they said. 40 minutes? Okay. Not for Katie. Bedtime. We should probably close the blinds or turn out the light or I don't know, something. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Dude. There was somebody right there at the window. There's nobody there. I wish there was a lock button. And the phone doesn't work. Yeah. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee would m help me stay up. Ugh. Okay, alright, we get it. It doesn't work. Coffee? There's no coffee maker in here. What do you mean, coffee? I don't want to open this door. Ugh! I'm scared. 
Am I on a coffee hunt right now? Like, I don't even have a fucking car. You think there's a Dunkin' Donuts out here? What the fuck? Was there even a coffee maker in here? Or maybe I can get it from the vending machine, like an iced coffee? Cola. Orange shrink chocolate chocolate cake. Onion rings, lime ver what the why are all these things here? Meat snack food. Okay. Hi, you got any coffee? <sighs> I don't see a coffee maker. Ah! Ah! Premium coffee. It's also really creepy out here. Espresso. Alrighty, I, I got it. Did my game crash? <gasps> oh! Oh! What the hell? Okay. My controls are all fucked up. When I press forward, I go back. When I press back, I go forward. Everything is opposite. I'm fucked up right now from this espresso. This is so weird. Oh god. I don't like this. Dad. I can't read! Why did I leave my door open like an idiot? Uh, Alright, get in bed? I don't know. So I did go to sleep, even though I drank coffee. I was sedated? I thought the phone didn't work. Hey guys, future Katie here. So, I actually didn't realize this while I was recording, but I just noticed it now while I was editing, and it's so fucking creepy. So, it's really hard to see. I don't know if my settings are just down, if the brightness wasn't up enough. I, I'm not sure. I didn't notice it while I was actually in the game. But if you look right here, you can see the closet door closing. Which means there's somebody in the room with us right now. <laughs> and I had no idea. So this next part of the game, I didn't realize there was someone in the room with me and I could have opened that closet at any time and probably ended my game and died. And that would have shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> so going into this, just know, I have no idea that there's someone in the closet. Okay. Why was my phone ringing at 3 in the morning? Who closed this? Who closed this? I must have did it before I went to bed. What the hell, man? What happened? <gasps> is that... Wait. Who the fuck is that? Is that... 
Is he knocking at the door? Is that the striped shirt? Is that the... The hotel guy? Who is it? Joe from front desk. Joe from front desk. Open the door. Okay. I know it is because I had looked. Hi. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? No, my eyes are red because I drank your fucking drugged ex espresso. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. Yeah, you do. It's literally right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. No, follow me, dude. I hate my job. Dude, it's literally right here. Because who installed it and then deinstalled it? Go faster, man. I can't do this. It was here. What the fuck is this? It was here, wasn't it? I swear to god, it was right there. I said go back now. What? There should be some medication in your room. That should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Why would I just take some random meds? Why is this trunk open? So they can stow me away in here? Ugh. Why would I take some random medication? This is creepy, guys. Thank you for suggesting this. I, I was probably gonna play it anyway, because I played the first one, but a lot of you guys in the comments suggested this. And yes, I have been playing for definitely over 40 minutes, but I will try to fix it and edit it a little bit. No. No. Dude, no. I don't know if my game is glitching out or what, but that was closed. That was closed. That was closed. Guys, you know that was closed. I literally said it was closed. Oh, fuck. I don't- I want to survive the night. I'm scared if I go over to the door, I'm gonna die. <sighs> so, since I didn't realize that there was someone in the room with me beforehand, now my stupid brain thinks that since the closet door is cracked open, that there is now someone actually hiding inside of the closet with the door cracked open. So I have it completely backwards and I'm having a lot of secondhand embarrassment editing this right now. Um, but it, it, just, just let me be. Fuck. There's somebody. There has to be. Unless, unless the hotel guy came in here. Why would he come in here? Fuck. Should I take the meds? I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to go over there. Guys, I don't think we're gonna make it through the night. <laughs> I think maybe I did something wrong? Fuck. Alright, let's just... Let's take the meds, because that's what the game wants me to do. Requires water? I gotta... <laughs> that means I gotta walk over here. I'm opening this. Oh, I gotta stand right here. Oh... My god, I'm so fucking scared. The door was wide open. Yeah, I- Wait, I gotta close this door? Guys, I'm so scared. I'm so scared.
I am absolutely terrified. <gasps> the fuck was that? Did someone take a picture of me from in the closet? Or is there somebody outside? the door. Who's that? Is that? Who's that? Is that the guy who drove me here and dropped me off? I'm trying to remember the shirts. Fuck. Hello? Hello? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Fuck, I went to sleep! No. <gasps> I can't turn the phone off now. Fuck. What's happening? I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's still there. Fuck, if there's somebody in here, I'm coming in with ya. There's literally nobody in here. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? He's still talking. Maybe I thought that would trigger something. Hello. Guys, I have literally been in this closet Hello. for like five minutes. <laughs> I, I really... Me talking isn't doing anything. Like, I don't know if my game is glitched out or not. I, I'm just gonna try and open the door because <laughs> he's like stuck saying hello, hello, hello. And I, I don't know. This might be the end of it. I'm sorry, guys. Kinda sucks. Oh shit, I have questions. Who is it? Open the door, do nothing. Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? What do you want? I need your help, please open the door. Fuck no! Okay, now I'm gonna go to the closet. And like, I know you're in there. Well, clearly I just answered the door, but anyway. Okay, I think that triggered something. Close the door. That... Oh. I'm gonna be quiet, because I don't know. I, I can't go back to the door. I don't- I don't know! Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the cops. Pretty lady. Fuck! Okay, now is the time. Now. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. 
I believed that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. <laughs> so wait, Tommy literally... <laughs> Tommy literally went and got my car. <laughs> and... And I don't know who came into the room. I don't know who that was because he was wearing a white shirt. And I don't know if we met that guy. That was a wild ride, man. <laughs> Guys, that was so fucking creepy. I'm gonna say that game was way better than the, the first one for sure. It, it was way more in depth. There was way more going on. I think a, some of the parts were kind of annoying, like getting your luggage out of the car and putting it in the truck and getting your luggage from the front of the motel and bring it into your room. I feel like that could have, that was unnecessary. Like literally the, the motel guy could have been like, I'll help you. And then there was a shortcut scene and then it was over, you know? Also all of the unnecessary characters, like the guy who picks us up when we were hitchhiking. Why was he so creepy? Why was he hanging out at the gas station? Was he the killer? He wasn't wearing a white shirt, was he? <laughs> If, if anybody can explain, let me know. If not, it was probably just the weird white van guy who was by our car at the gas station. That was scary. That was, that was definitely creepy. Anyway, thank you guys for suggesting this game. I really liked it. I cannot wait for chapter three. I feel like they're going to hopefully get better and better. Um, if there's any more short indie games like this that you want me to play, let me know. Leave the links down below or at least the name of the game and I will see if I can play them. I'm really into just right now playing short little things that I can get out for you really quickly rather than like a long full game, um, which we will still do. I just want to do smaller things in the meantime. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.